everybody. It's Manly Parks. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. We're back on a uh, local creek near my house this evening. It is Sunday, August 4th, 2019. It's about 5.30 in the evening and it's in the high 80s after a day that topped out in the mid 90s. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can pick up some fish on the evening bite. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We've got the fly rod along and we've got a little tiny popper you can see there and we're going to see if we can pick some fish up on the surface this evening on the fly rod. All right, about, I don't know, three minutes in, a little red breast on the popper. Nothing big here, obviously, quite tiny, but still fun to see him come up and take it off the surface. I hope this is a uh, good sign. Fish number two. Maybe uh, three or four more minutes later, after a couple of missed uh, strikes, the little rock bass. Pretty little guy. One thing I like about this creek is that it's wide enough to permit a reasonable amount of cast radius, and it's not too deep to make it difficult to wade. In fact, I'm right out in the middle right now, and I'm about below my middle of my shin. Might be a little too shallow in this section, frankly. There's a little bit of a deeper spot out there. I mean, I'm standing again in maybe 10, possibly 12 inches of water, and I bet that water over there is two feet deep. I'm right on the edge of where it drops off into a little bit of more depth. Not any kind of serious depth, but there he is. There he is. Another red breast. Come here, bud. Another little guy. These are all little guys so far. And again, I'm not in the optimum spot. I'm really looking forward to fishing that bend up there. But in the meantime, I got this guy. Nice looking little fish. Oh, I got that guy. Little tiny bit better fish. Still very, very small. That was a good hit though. He swallowed it. Look at that. He got it way down inside there. Got it out. There she goes. Back she is. Oh, look at that. Two snapping turtles. See them? Right there. That's cool. They must be mating. Looks like the one's chasing the other. That's super cool. There they go. Oh, hit and missed him. Just had another one come up and like sniff at it, just like not even break the water on it, but just kind of come up and indifferently nudge it. Oh, this is a little bit of a hit, but he didn't really, t must have been tiny. Or he just came up and sniffed at it. They're hitting this lure, but they're not crushing this lure. Thinking about switching to a little bit more natural color. I just don't know about whether this red and white's the right color for this creek. Always done better in these creeks on natural colors. So I'm mean, talking myself into switching this out for something a little natu more natural, maybe like a black. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Try one of these little froggies. It's kind of a natural looking little thing. Now we have a very natural looking like frog popper guy. Let's see what that does, if anything. Ooh, it pops very nicely. There he is. <laughs> right where I thought that fish should be, but he didn't hit the red popper. He came up and hit this frog popper. Interesting. Beautiful male red breast, spawning colors, gorgeous. Back he goes. Nice. That was awesome. All right, well, 
That is encouraging. Fewer hits, which makes sense because I think I'm not attracting those tiny little red breasts with this. It's a little too big of a meal for them, I think. Right, that's over by the bank. That's a better bet in terms of getting hit on a frog. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a little, little better. Oh yeah, that's a little better red breast. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Still not huge, but better class. A little weight to him too. There he is. Hey buddy. Off he goes. There he is. There he is. Ha, 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 ha. A little better fish. I don't even know what it is. Is it red breast? Uh, I don't think it is. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's a very nice green sunfish. Really good sized green sunfish. Let's take a good look at this guy. See, green sunfish, he's got the mottled color. The dead giveaway is the orange on the edge of the fins. All right, for the release, Mr. Green Sunfish. Off he goes. I'm gonna try one of these, like, nuclear ant type things, ants with the pink legs. They should be pretty good. I have a pretty high level of confidence. This is what I'm talking about. One of these guys. Spider, I guess they're called. Alright. Let's see. Pink legged spider. Oh, that didn't take long. There he was. Pink legged spider doing its thing. What do we have here? Red breasts. Fighting pretty good. There he is. Off he goes. All right, now back at him with the crazy pink legged spider. Got him. Got him. Red breast female. Off she goes. Boom. That red breast. Immediately. Bang, bang, bang. Off he goes. So far, the spider is on fire. The poppers, eh, but the spider, boy, these fish are very interesting. Mm. Viciously attacked it, but he missed it. Oh, but he got it that time. <laughs> he got it that time. Red breast, I think. Ah, yes. Red breast. All I'm doing, I'm throwing it out there, and I'm, oh, there was another one. I'm just letting it drift, and then every 10 seconds, I'll move it a little tiny bit like it's alive, and then just let it dead drift. Oh, he got it. He missed it, and he came back for it. Ooh, he's fighting. A fighter. All right, buddy. You are working hard. You're not that big, but you fought hard. There he is. All right, spider. Do some more magic here. This thing is getting it done. There's another. <laughs> My goodness. Every cast. I was getting some attention over there with the popper, but you know, they just wouldn't commit to it. I can see why. These aren't big fish, but they love the spider. Another red breast. Chunky little one, but pretty chunky. There he is. Off he goes. There's a little eddy over here. 
you can see the main current. Oh, there he is. Main current going here and then kind of an eddy on the back side where the bubbles aren't moving. And those fish are all sitting back in that eddy, just probably right on the edge of the current line, waiting for stuff to come down. Really inhaling it. So, just another quick look at this lure that has really turned these fish on. It's a uh, pink-legged, black-bodied spider. Let's see if I put it in my palm, you might get a better look at it. There we go. There we go. Ooh, he's fighting a little bit better. A little bit bigger class of fish, I think. Still a red breast or some kind of sunfish. Ah, fight, buddy, fight! Arr! Bluegill! Yeah, pretty, pretty bluegill instead of a red breast. Very pretty guy. Big old hump on his head. That's a pretty big bluegill for this little creek. Off he goes. Oh, he really, really came out of the water for that one. There he is. There he goes. Got him. Ooh, guy's fighting a little bit better. Just a red breast, but I think he's just one with a, some gumption. Yeah, he's just got a little more heft to him. Off he goes. There's another one. Just throwing it in there and letting it sit. He's smacking it. Oof, this looks like a different fish. This might be a green sunfish. He's, oh, he's fighting different. Green sunfish. Nice green sunfish. Good looking fish. A couple of nice green sunfish so far this evening. Both in the similar size class to that. Off he goes. Fought a little different than those other guys. He really like he tried to he almost had head shakes. There he is. Oh, oh, oh. Got some heft to him as well. What this is? A small red breast with a big attitude. They don't have a pumpkin seed, but otherwise I almost have the sun the, the sunfish superfecta. Well, actually I have the rock bass as well, so I suppose I do have a kind of a sunfish superfecta, but I don't have the pumpkin seed. One last cast. Right there. That's a wrap. That was a lot of fun. My goodness, was that a lot of fun. Well, that was a pretty nice evening of fishing. Can't complain about the uh, number of fish we caught. The sunfish, superfecta. It was so much fun catching those fish on the fly rod. You know, if you have a fly rod, a little, mine was a three weight, it's gathering dust in your garage and it's uh, August, just take it out one evening on a local creek or your local pond with some poppers or a little spider. So much fun. Uh, as always, I'm the Brandywine Angler, Manly Parks. We'll catch you next time.